Hi everyone, CG Seb here, and we are back for another uh, Fluent Materializer tutorial. Um, this time we're gonna go a, a little bit deeper. Uh, if you don't know the add-on, I've made an introduction video. Uh, you can see on the on the in the description, and also it will appear on the top right corner of this video. So I truly advise you to, to check it first because here I will go a little bit deeper into the the, the stuff of the add-on. So uh, today's goal uh, is to make this window like uh, you probably did it when you were a kid and you were sitting by the window and you are drawing well, on a rainy day you're drawing with your finger on the, on the window uh, because there is like some steam and, and stuff. So uh, the goal of this video is to reproduce this with Fluent uh, Materializer. So let's go. Uh, as you can see, so I have the scene and then I have to set up here. I will probably make this bigger. And I'm going to remove all of this. Boom. So first of all, uh, we're gonna start with a glass shader. You can find it here into the shaders. And then here you have a glass shader. So you can import it here directly. Um, so I've made some settings here. Uh, you can play with this but that's the setting I found to make it a little bit uh, transparent. I can show you like this. So you see it's transparent, a little bit blurry. And uh, so we can see it's, it's glass. So we have the basic of the glass. Uh, now what we want uh, is to add some water drops on it. Uh, to do so, I'm going to use the roughness and the normal of this uh, shader. So we're gonna go to the liquid here and then we're gonna use the water drop. I think we can use this one. And we're gonna plug the normal here. We can see here we have more water drops. Um, to make it a little bit more realistic and more random. We're gonna add another one, probably this one, and we're gonna plug here the normal into the normal stack of the first one. So here we have, wait, let me uncheck this. Here we are. So as you can see here, we have like big water drops. Those are the first one. Uh, probably they're a little bit too strong. So I'm gonna slow down like that. So we have something more uh, more realistic. So now we have the um, water effect. And what we need to do to add uh, the, the the effect that I showed you with the drawing with your on, on your finger. Um, first, I'm gonna add some more uh, realistic uh, to this. Um, I don't know if you uh, if you can see, but on rainy windows, you usually hear on the side and uh, in on bottom on the. The, um, the borders of the window you usually have more uh, steam or more water. It's thicker here on the inside because it's with the warm of the the room and the difference of temperature. It creates some steam on the on the window, and you can uh, see the steam is actually stronger on the on the sides here. Uh, on this view, I'm. On, only gonna see the um, right part and the bottom part, so I'm gonna do it like that. Uh, we're gonna go to the grunges and then 
gradient ranges. Boom. And now uh, you need to plug the roughness into the roughness of this. What it will do, uh, it will create a gradient from the bottom to the top. And then uh, to see the, what we are doing, we're gonna control shift click until we reach the roughness or the mask so we can see more uh, properly what we're doing. Uh, we don't want this to be this high, so I'm gonna decrease the Z axis as you can see here. Basically the wave is how much different you will have between the, um, the peaks and the, the down point, like if it's really uh, like pike like that with lot of spikes. So if you reduce the wave, you basically make it more like flat. So this is what we want. Make it like this, a little bit more like that and still too too high for me. I'm gonna make it almost flat and then put it at the bottom here. Uh, now if we control shift click on this, uh, we can see the roughness. Uh, it's not totally visible. Uh, we can see it a little bit here. I'm gonna zoom on this point. Um, and the reason for that is that you need to play with those settings here. Um, so the lowest roughness is 0 0.3. Uh, we can put it 0 0.2. And then we can increase the roughness of this one, 0 0.6, to increase the difference between this and the roughness of the of the crunch that we just had hit here. And now you can see here we have this effect. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit lower, probably something like that. Boom. Um, we have it on the bottom, but we also want it on the right side. So you need to duplicate this, shift, uh, shift D to duplicate, and then you put it here. Uh, one cool thing they can do with Fluent Materializer is that you can actually stack the roughness of this into this one, and it will basically add roughness together. Uh, so we're gonna use uh, Control shift click to see what we are doing here um, and we want it on the side of the window so it's like this. Let me show you. So it's like this and not like that. Uh, to change that you need to rotate here. Um, Depending on the rotation of your object is not gonna be the same as mine. So you have three axes here that you can basically rotate and see which one is it. For me, it's the X axis. And I'm gonna rotate it. So it's like this, like 90 degree. And then I'm gonna drop down this and then I think we're good. So now if we check the roughness, we have the roughness of the bottom one like this, boom, 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 and the one on the right. I'm gonna lower the one on the right. Like that. Control shift click on this and now we have it on both sides. So that's pretty cool. Um, so the remaining part is the drawing on the window. As you can see on the top, I have this drawing here and this is what I want to draw on a window. To do that, uh, we need to play with the roughness, but as you can see, the roughness is already 
used by those two. Um, so we need to mix the roughness of this with the roughness of the drawing. Uh, to do that, you need to press F and then Math Lighten here. So you drag and drop here, and then you can just use the roughness um, of your your painting. Uh, to paint on the object, you need to be in the paint mode here. Texture paint. And then you can just go into solid mode so you can see what you're doing. And then you're gonna go here. Uh, as you can see, it says no texture. And here we need to click on the plus and roughness. You can set up as you want. You have here name. I'm gonna make it 2K resolution. For this, it's enough. And for the color, it's very important to put it as something like a gray color, something like this. So the gray color, um, because if you don't know, the roughness is uh, black and white colors, where it's uh, white, it's totally rough. It, it means that it's not uh, reflection there is no reflection it's totally uh, like a matte effect and when it's black it's totally um, totally transparent totally uh, not transparent but reflective so this is what we want and here by make it it gray like that it means that we will apply um, a roughness to all the the, the object. So now we have this that just appear and then we just plug the color into this. Boom. Um, to make it easier to see what we are drawing, I opened here a view with the um, image editor and now I'm going to select the the image here that I just created. Uh, for the paint here, I'm gonna select black, total black, and then for the radius, you can just right click and uh, see the radius that you want. Basic, uh, basically, it would change based on the the scale of your object. So it may be not uh, the same uh, settings that you need to put here, and you need to put the strength to one. So let's say I want to I draw something like a heart or something. Boom. I'm not really good at drawing. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Oop. So let's say you want to draw this and then you are happy with it. And uh, you want to see what is the result. So to do that, I need to go back to object mode here and then render and as you can see it worked we can draw on the window like we are drawing uh, with the finger on it um, here you see that it's really not uh, transparent and um, we cannot see the effect that we created on the bottom and on the the right anymore and we can barely see through the window. The reason for that is that this color that we set, the gray color that we set when we created this, uh, is basically it's too white and uh, it's too much. Sometimes you want this effect, and if it is this is if this is what you want, then then it's fine. Um, but you need to to check before uh, your drawing. Uh, it's better to check first because right now. Uh, it's too rough, so I probably need to uh, remove this and then go back here, select this, and uh, yeah, and go to the paint mode, 
paint texture go here and create a new one but this time I'm gonna make it more darker like this probably then you create one and boom here we select the one that we just created and we can basically draw you can draw in this view in the round view but it's not really practical as you're not gonna see really what you're painting so I'd advise you to go to uh, the solid mode and uh, draw what you what you want and boom you have it so if it doesn't uh, show properly like you don't see the, the changes that you are making I uh, probably need to go back to solid view and then go back again to uh, the render view so it's kind of refresh the image uh, after that I advise you to save the image once you are happy give it a name and then uh, it will be saved with the file so yeah that was it for today's video I hope you enjoyed and let me know in the comment section and see you on the next one